Welcome to This Time Tomorrow with the Williams family. What is your name and occupation? So my name is Dan Williams and I'm a secondary school music teacher in Dover and I teach at Dover Christ Church Academy School. What is your name and what is your occupation? My name is Alana Jane Williams. I work for Canterbury Christ Church as their lay chaplain. What will you be doing this time tomorrow? This time tomorrow I will be working very hard on my NQT folder. Um, it is my NQT year this year and there's a lot of stuff that needs to be put in the NQT folder and I'm a little bit behind. Um, and yeah, just trying to get that done as much as I can, getting help from any teachers at school that might be able to help me out. And yeah, it's graded, so it's really important that I get it done as soon as possible. What happens if you don't pass? Oh, I basically can't teach in a set in a, in any schools really across the country ever. So it's quite important and a little bit stressful. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. What will you be doing this time tomorrow? This time tomorrow, it'll be around eleven a.m. I'll be sitting beside. A opposite Dan at our dining room table working on some social media stuff for the chaplaincy and um, we have community lunches every week virtual and we do morning prayer and evening prayer on some days so I'll be sorting out social media for that. I will also be sending out some bits and pieces for the international outreach that we usually have over the summertime in Canterbury but it's been postponed due to coronavirus so we're going to go online and have morning devotions and a cafe in the afternoon um, over the two weeks. So I'll be sending out information about that. And because it's 11am, I'll probably have another cup of tea. How have you coped during lockdown, Dan? So um, I have coped by taking a lot of rest days. Um, they are very helpful and they're nice to just not do anything occasionally. Um, however, because of my NQT folder, it needs to be in in just over a month that I haven't really got the luxury of rest days anymore but I think it's very important to take them occasionally for mental well-being and just stress relief. How, are you, how have you been coping during lockdown? I have coped surprisingly well. I thought I would miss things a lot more than what I have um, but I've taken up gardening and playing the guitar and making sourdough and knitting. I can now knit baby hats so I've done that for some of the maternity wards around here. Um, but overall, I now um, oversee the Community Fridge, the initiative that it was organised between the Hub and the Baptist Church with our fair share allocation. Um, so every Thursday, I find myself um, at the church making parcels for those in need. And then we have some great delivery drivers who deliver the parcels to around Canterbury and the surrounding villages. What have you missed during lockdown and what are you looking forward to? Well, to be honest, I don't think I've missed that much. Um, but what I have valued more is bumping into friends that we haven't seen for a while, um, just in the street or when we're out shopping. Um, and it's just a nice thing to talk to other people that we might occasionally take for granted. So it's nice to have the human contact again, um, to just to chat to people in person. Um, and also my family have been down um, a couple of times to collect and drop the car back to London because it needs a service and it's been great to spend time with them just enjoying enjoying ourselves and spending time with my family. What have you missed and what are you looking forward to? Um, I have missed, well we have missed two of our friends weddings that have had to be postponed, one in London and one that was supposed to be in Greece so we missed out on that and so we are missing our friends and I was also supposed to be back in Northern Ireland for my mum's 50th birthday two weeks ago, um, which has sadly been postponed as well. So we're looking forward to a time when we can meet our friends and family again where there's no social distancing and we can have hugs. Um, but overall, um, I've, yeah, we got to see some of our friends and Dan's family um, on bank holiday Monday whenever we went canoeing. So that was nice to meet people on the river, socially distancing, and it was a nice way to catch up with people. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm looking forward to a time when we can all be reunited, especially at church, and we can all sing together again. Um, Dan, what is a word of encouragement for um, your So I've been kind of thinking this week about um, the, you know, the tr trusting in, in God and um, that we should trust in the Lord always and that he is in control and that he is consistent. 
Um, and Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 and 7 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard our hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. That actually that's a really important thing that we need to remember that God is in control. Um, and he does guard our hearts and our minds and give us peace. Um, so that's one thing that we can take um, this week just to remember that God is in control and that he does give us peace. Hope you guys have a great week. Bye. Bye.